This might be the coolest looking light that I own. The Jiyun V60 is a bicolor wand style tube light that's not only shockingly bright, but surprisingly versatile as well. It comes in both black and white variants and the exposed design on the back is not only great for heat dissipation, but also just looks really impressive. The V60 keeps some of the best features of their bigger F100 lights, just in a smaller and more refined package. The F100 lights themselves are amazing and I did a full review on those if you wanna check that out after this. As intricate as these lights look, they are very simple to use and the modifier system makes them one of the most flexible options out there. The barn doors are removable and they snap onto two rails on the front of the light and there's also a grid available for when you want to control light spill. The grid actually slides onto the barn doors before you strap it on, so it's very rigid and secure, unlike some of the more flaccid grid designs I've seen. My favorite accessory though is the soft box, which stretches over the open barn doors, giving you much softer and more flattering light. Combined with the overall brightness of the V60, it's one of the only tube style options out there that can legitimately be used as a key light. And thanks to its wand shape, it's one of the best handheld options for food and product photography and videography. These are 60 watt lights, which is crazy powerful for something this size. And they also have max mode, which I'll get to in a bit. With the internal battery, you'll get around 24 minutes at 100% brightness, 50 minutes at 50% and around two hours at 20% brightness. Now I know that 24 minute number might scare you, but you have to remember that most tube lights this size are only 10 or 15 watts. So those lights might run for one hour at 100% brightness, but the V60 is as bright as those lights when it's only set to about 20%. And when you plug the V60 into wall power or a USB-C source that supports 100 watts or more, you enable max mode. Max mode boosts the lights to 100 watts of output, which is absolutely insane, and it's about two thirds of a stop in camera terms. Just keep in mind that the six fans on the back will be working over time with max mode enabled. The V60 gives you a color temperature range of 2700 to 6500 Kelvin for both warm and cool whites, or to match any other lights you might be using. It also has six built-in special effects and music mode that synchronizes the flashing of the light to audio. I measured the color accuracy of the V60 with my Sekonic C800, and it was as good or better than any other options out there. Everything fits nicely into a zippered padded carrying case, so it's truly one of the most portable options you'll find. The standard kit goes for $199 and the combo kit goes for $249. I think the modifiers are what makes this light what it is, and I think they're well worth the cost, so I highly recommend the combo kit if possible. But what do you think? Leave a comment and let me know how the V60 stacks up to other bicolor tube light options out there. Links are in the description and if you buy anything at all after clicking my links, that's the best way to support this channel at no extra cost to you. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.